saved my life. I already regret it. Hello, I'm looking for Anne Shepard's room. Please sign the visitor's book. Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her, you know. It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Thank you. Hello, Mrs. Shepard. Is it time for my pills already? No, Mrs. Shepard, I... They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. In the other hospital, they were always on time. But here... My name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. I don't like this hospital. The food isn't very good, you know. Your other son, Mrs. Shepard, John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. Try to remember, Mrs. Shepard. John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm fond of television. I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepard. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me, can you believe it? In 10 years, never. No one forgets their mother, do they? Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. 
Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? I love origami, but that's not my favorite one. I love origami, but that's not my favorite one. I love origami, but that's not my favorite one. to do these little dogs too. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max, Max, Max? All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? It'd take days, if not longer, to find the name of the family that adopted her son. Sean Mars would be dead by then. This woman might be the origami killer's mother. Must be some way to get her to remember. It seems to be working. She's remembering stuff. Gotta find something else to show her. No point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. Did you make these origami figures? 
my little paper animals. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepard. John and what was your other son's name again? My other son? I only had one son, my little Johnny. All right, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. You don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepard. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. I know he'll bring me some. Are these your children, Mrs. Shepard? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them, always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. Her memory is coming back. Don't stop now. Just, just remember. All right, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. Does Mrs. Shepard ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. Did she ever mention her sons? Sons? Well, she often mentions John. I, I think he drowned. Does she ever talk about her other son? I didn't know she had another one. I've never heard her mention it. Does she get many visitors? She's been here for ten years and you're the first. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. You might get it to remember. Thanks for the advice. Lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. 
We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand? The foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. His name, Mrs. Shepherd. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer. The last trial, the last question. Are you prepared to give your life to save your son? There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. You will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. You can drink the file or decide to leave. The choice is yours. I did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you.
We've only got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. We no longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours. Now you're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. Killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Harry was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. I've seen this before somewhere. The watch they give for promotions to Lieutenant. The killer is a cop.
The gun the killer left at the Blue Lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing its history. Impounded in a police case five years ago, the gun is still supposed to be in police custody. Who checked it out? If not a cop. Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake! That would explain the dead-end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. 